Hello, uh, this is my first trip to Taiwan, it was to come to visit the BioAsia meeting. Uh, and I came primarily for the one-on-one -on -one partnering meetings, as well as attending the conferences, which had a representation of uh, academic and industry players uh, in Asia and beyond. For me, this has been a very good meeting to have both scientific and uh, industry input for the project work we're doing. I, I'm based in Singapore at Engine Biosciences, which is a Singapore headquartered company with offices in California. We have a very strong Taiwanese connection because two of our co-founders uh, are Taiwanese, notably Tim Liu, who's a very well-known scientist, uh, originating from here, but now at Harvard, MIT. We brought in technology. We're working to do drug discovery in cancer and other indications. We've had opportunity to interact with many different groups in uh, Taiwan. And it's been, for me, a very rewarding meeting to attend. Hi, my name is Levy, and I'm the co-founder for Nala Genetics. And uh, Nala Genetics is a company based in Singapore, and we're a genetic risk prediction company uh, for Asia. So uh, the first indication that we're targeting is drug response. And the reason why we're doing that first is because 8% of hospital admissions are caused by adverse drug reactions. And if you zoom out a little bit, about 50% of prescription outcomes have positive, uh, prescription response have uh, positive outcomes. And the rest makes you either stay the same or even worse. Um, and also, it's actually the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S. And it's causing about $240 million in Singapore annually, or $8 billion in, in the, it's $80 billion in the U.S. And so, uh, the problem with um, genetic, so drug response is that about 30 to 70 percent of drug responses actually have genetic associations. And so there's a lot of potential for genetics to play a part in this, but uh, current genetic testing are either too expensive or it's unproven in local populations in Southeast Asia and some parts of Asia. And so what we do is we develop um, genetic testing that is affordable for the current market and also a patient management platform and a clinical digestion support system for physicians to be able to um, order testing and manage their patients very easily knowing their genetic risk. So um, essentially when a physician um, uh, registers with knowledge genetics, they will get trained on pharmacogenomics, they'll be able to have support and supervision from our clinical director, they will have genetic counseling um, uh, for themselves to manage their population in the future and for the patients themselves, and also have the web and, app, uh, and mobile apps essentially to uh, ensure that the patients do not get any uh, differences or adverse reactions um, or differences in efficacy um, over time when they change their medications. Uh, based on their genetic test response. And so um, we're happy to be here to sort of uh, share about what we do. We are actually launching one of our products called Nala Outpatient um, October, uh, this October, and so that's why we're here. We sort of to, would like to see if there's any early partners in Taiwan that we, or Taipei that, that would be interested in piloting our solutions. And it, I must say that it has been a very like, eye-opening experience. I think um, BioAsia, uh, Taiwan has done a really great job in gathering all the players in one place, and there's a lot of partnerships that could be done. So I'm really happy to be here and really thankful for the opportunity.